Hello e -tunes. I've just made a quick PowerPoint and I'm recording my voice over it just to give you a very quick outline of the mass. If you wish to include this um, PowerPoint in your Eucharistic show bag, you can. I can send you the PowerPoint in particular for this. But this video is designed to help you understand a little bit better the uh, four key components of the mass. The first part is introductory rites. Uh, these are all uh, statements here that you'll see and have experienced if you've been to Mass, which you would probably all have. Uh, the thing that might be unfamiliar to you, there is the Gloria. Uh, we don't always do that here at school. I know when I go to Mass, we always say the Gloria, so it's fairly standard in that. Much of what you'll see in here is just one step rather than a, a, a longer process. The Liturgy of the Word uh, consists of a variety of readings. Uh, the first reading is always the Old Testament. That can be done by anyone that's tasked to read it, same with Responsorial Psalm. The second reading is always from the New Testament, but not a Gospel reading. Then we ask to stand up for the Gospel reading who, uh, from Matthew, Mark, Luke or John, and that's always done by the priest. And then the homily can be done uh, by the priest or another uh, officiating officer there, such as an Archbishop, for example. The profession of faith is a statement of beliefs uh, from the shorter form in the Apostles' Creed or the longer form in the Nicene Creed, which I believe you all did last year in Year 9. And then we finish this part of the Liturgy of the Word off with prayers for the faithful. The next few slides are all inclusive of the Liturgy of the Eucharist. Uh, some of what you'll see in the next few slides are just, you know, just one single step. Preparation of the altar is a longer uh, stretch for that, for the priest. Procession of the gifts, for example, is just two people bringing it up. And then the priest actually will go through this um, through these stages. The Eucharistic prayer, the preface, the holy, holy, holy. Um, the two most probably important steps in this one, and maybe in the whole Mass, is the invocation of the Holy Spirit, where the priest asks the Holy Spirit to come down onto the bread and the wine to make it into the body of blood in Christ. And at that moment, it's called the consecration. So if you are wondering at what point during a Mass that actually occurs, that's the moment for it. The prayers for the living and the dead and the doxology um, can be a variety of statements, but it tends to be Christ has died, Christ has risen, Christ will come again. These are all, again, fairly um, familiar steps. Some of them are what, say, the congregation will do, the Lord's Prayer, sign of the peace, whereas the breaking the bread and the comb mingling, which is mixing the bread and wine, is something that the priest will be doing. Then the priest turns around and he goes through these steps, and then we go through, actually have communion, the distribution of communion, and then the prayer at the end. We always finish off with the final blessing and the dismissal. There can be a song involved with that as well. Uh, any extra notes might be said by the priest there as well. But in all of that, we're meant to leave reverently, knowing that the body of blood of Christ is probably present there with us, um, if there's any leftover bread and wine. So hopefully this has been of help to you, Year 10s. Again, you can use this as part of your Year 10 Eucharistic show bag task. I'm going to put this up on YouTube and hopefully this might be of benefit to you if you're not too sure. We are going to be looking at the various uh, steps of a normal Eucharist and that needs to be something that you all need to be familiar with. Until then, you tens, bye.